If you're like me, you find rolling put options just confusing. When I started out, I didn't fully understand how to roll put options because there are multiple ways. It can be very confusing for a beginner and it can be easy to make a mistake which could set you back in your progress to becoming a profitable trader. Now in this video, I'm gonna give you three easy steps to rolling your put options so that you don't make mistakes and so that you can increase your chance of profitability from trade to trade. Once I discovered these three easy steps to rolling a put option, things became very simple almost automatic, sort of systematic in the approach in that I could just roll without really having to think about it. And that's what I want for you. So with that, why don't we jump into it? So in this video, I'm not gonna give you a bunch of fancy graphs, weird diagrams, results from a scientific study. I'm just gonna show you a live example of a trade that I actually have on. I'm gonna set it up for each of the three different types of roles so that you can fully understand each one. I'm going to briefly introduce each one and then dive over into the trading platform, show you how that works, then we'll come back and talk about the second way, then we'll go over to the trading platform, and so on and so forth. And by the end of this video, you're gonna be a pro at rolling your put option. All right, first technique for rolling an option is called rolling out. You'll hear people say, I'm going to go ahead and roll this trade out. Now, when I first heard that, I thought, okay, I wonder if that means on the options chain. Let's say your put strike is 100, and in my head I thought, oh, rolling out must mean getting away from it. So rolling it maybe down to 90 or 85. And that's actually not what that means. Rolling out just means closing your current options put and opening another one further out in time. So let's say your expiration is two weeks out, you would close that one and open another one three weeks out, four weeks out, five weeks out, whatever, just further out in time. You'll be buying to close the original put option and you'll be selling to open the new put option. Sometimes you'll see this as BTC, buy to close, and STO, sell to open. You always close one contract and open the next. A lot of people don't realize this, that if your trade has been challenged, and you're down on the position and you're going to roll out, you're actually closing the first trade for a loss and you're opening the second trade and the credit you're collecting on that second trade is outweighing the loss of the first trade. So you're doing it for a net credit. So with that, let's dive into the trading platform and let me show you how to roll out in time. All right, so what we're gonna talk about is how to roll out. Now, you've heard people say out, you heard my confusion about out, I thought it meant down. But out just means adding more time to the position. So you gotta, you got to buy to close the current position, and you got to sell to open a new position further out in time. That means rolling out. So let's check that out. So this position in Novavax, this is a position I just put on this past week, and there's a video here if you want to check that out. And what I did was I went ahead and I sold the 7-day 135 put. At the time, it was 10 days out. It's 135 put. And I just sold one of them in Novavax. And what we want to do is just add time to this. So all we're going to do is we're going to right click it and we're just going to say roll expirations. Now you can see here you get a nice quick diagram where you can roll just the expiration. And so maybe I pick 21 days out. So I click that. And what that's going to do, and I'm going to move myself out of the way here, is that's going to allow for you to roll from seven days, as you can see here, out to 21 days, but just keeping the same strike. So our strike is not gonna change. Now to roll out and add two more weeks time, which is the extrinsic value we discussed, you can see they're gonna pay me $5.40 to do that. So if I review and send, I'll get paid $538.73 to roll out two weeks. So that is how you roll out. Okay, now that we have that one under our belt, let's talk about the second way to roll. And this is rolling up or rolling down. Now, back in my first example, I mentioned that when I first started, I thought that rolling out meant rolling down the options chain, when in fact rolling down means rolling down. So rolling up and rolling down, that's another way to roll your put option. So what you're doing in this scenario is you're rolling the strike to a different strike but you're actually keeping the same expiration date. So you're not rolling out in this one. You're just rolling up or down. I know it sounds a little weird. It'll make more sense when I show you in the trading platform. So let's go ahead and let's jump in and I'm gonna show you how to roll your put option up 
and roll your put option down. All right, so now let's talk a little bit about how to roll up or down. So I've got the same position here, and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna click on this, right click, and I'm gonna say roll the strikes, because now we're gonna roll the strikes up or down, but we're not gonna change the expiration date. So I'm gonna first say I wanna roll down, okay? So if I click that, it'll show you right here that I'm actually gonna roll, I'm gonna buy to close the 135, and I'm gonna to sell to open the 134. So you can see it right here. The green is to buy this back, to close it, and then I'm gonna to sell to open the 134, essentially rolling down. Now to do this, I have to pay money. Because what I'm doing is I'm lowering the chances, I'm improving my position. I'm making it less likely that I'm gonna get breached at 135. Now I'm at 134, so I backed away from the trade a little bit, Increase my odds of being correct. I have to pay for that. That's where the extrinsic value is going to come in later So hang on to that. We'll, we'll revisit that in a second now if I click review and send you can see I'm gonna have to pay with fees and commissions about $20 and 27 cents to execute this trade I typically don't want to do this without adding time I want to add extrinsic value to this so that I can collect a credit So I normally wouldn't do this in the same expiration, but this is just an example of how to roll down now let's do a quick example of how to roll up. So I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna roll my strikes, I'm gonna roll them up. Now I'm going from 135 to 136, basically taking on a little bit more risk and you can see I'm gonna get paid for that. If I wanna roll up to 137, I'm gonna get paid a little bit more. If I go to 140, I'm gonna get paid a little bit more. So you can see how that works. If you take on more risk, you get paid a little more. If you reduce your risk, you have to pay. So I click review and send, I'm going to get paid $124.73 to roll up, not adding any time. You can see right here, there's still seven days out, not moving the time at all. This is how you roll down and up. All right, you're doing great. You got number one and you got number two. And if you have any questions, just drop them in the comment section and I'll answer every question that I see. Now, number three, the third and final way to roll is the combination of the two. We are now going to roll up or down and out in time. So you'll hear people say, I'm going to roll this trade up and out, or I'm going to roll this trade down and out. I'm going to show you how to do this. What this involves is increasing the time of the trade. So you're going to go ahead and roll it out in time to a different expiration. And you're also going to move the strike price. You might be wondering, why would I do this? Well, what you can do is when you get challenged, let's say your put has a $100 strike and the stock moves down violently and it goes to 70. So you're $30 in the money. That's kind of a rough situation. And you might say to yourself, you know what? I want to try to keep up with where the price of the stock is. So I need to roll towards the current price, meaning down. Now, in order to do that, you need to add what's known as extrinsic value, which means time. So if you wanna add time, you need to roll out a few weeks, that extrinsic value is going to allow you to roll down as well for a credit. If you just roll down and you don't roll out, you'll likely have to do it for a debit because you've been breached to such an extreme amount. But if you add extrinsic value, I picture extrinsic value as almost like wood on a fire. If you throw a bunch of wood on a fire, you get bigger flames. You, this is the same way with rolling out in time. If you add a bunch of time, you can possibly get a lot of premium. And that premium will allow you to roll down. Because if you just roll down without rolling out in time, they charge you for that. So let's dive into the trading platform and let me show you how to roll out and down or up and down. So the same thing applies. You're gonna right click here, but now I'm gonna go to quick roll. And what that's gonna do is, let's look at the position here, that's gonna say, that we're taking our 135, and now I can be in control of it. I can move the pieces around. So what I wanna do now is I wanna roll this thing from seven days, let's go to expirations, and I'm gonna add some time here. Let's go 28 days out, okay? So you can see I'm gonna get paid $6.70, and in addition to that, I wanna take on less risk. So I actually wanna roll down as well. So I'm going to roll from 135 down to 130. So I'm going to move this down to 130. So you can see I'm going to buy to close the 135 
and I'm going to sell to open the 130 that's 28 days out. So I'm rolling out in time and down in strikes. And you can see I'm going to improve my position because I'm getting $5 further away from where I originally was, and I'm going to collect $4.85. So the beautiful thing about this is not only am I $5 further away, but my break even now just moved five more dollars down down to 125 because I collected another $5. So that's how you roll down and out. Now, if for some reason you wanted to roll up and out, all you would do is move from the original 135, maybe you roll up to 140. Now remember, this is taking on more risk, so what's gonna happen? That's right, you're gonna get paid more. So instead of getting paid almost five bucks, now you're gonna get paid $8.25. But remember, it's easier to get breached because you're closer to the price now. Our price is hovering around 148. You just moved from 135 to 140. You got closer to the fire. So you're gonna get paid to take that risk. If you move further from the fire, down to 130, or let's even say 125, you're only gonna get paid 355, but your chances of winning are much higher because you're further away. So that's how you roll up and out and down. And out. So to review those three real quick, you can either roll out in time or you can roll up or down on your strikes or lastly, you can do both up and out or down and out. All right. So those are the three ways to roll an options trade, specifically a put option. I hope this was super helpful. And if you have any questions, drop them below. If you got any value from the video, please hit that thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. We'd love to have you hang around and I will see you in the next video.